Hello Aquarius, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading, whoever you're thinking about. That is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. Person on your mind, their feelings towards you. We have the Five of Cups, intentions, the hangman, their next actions and behaviors towards you, the Two of Pentacles, their fe your feelings towards them. We have the Empress, the challenge between the two of you, the Temperance, and the potential outcome, the Chariot. Quite a bit of majors here bottom of the deck you have the king of wands so with their feelings being the five of cups I do feel like somebody's experiencing some regrets at this time. You know, it kind of feels, it kind of feels like there's something that they're waiting for. And I'm kind of getting the impression that it's you, Aquarius. I kind of feel like this person is waiting on you. Even here, this person's in the window. It's like they're like watching for somebody, like waiting for them to pull up, right? They have their, their phone, their candle out there. They're like looking for somebody, waiting for somebody to kind of pull up here. That's kind of what I'm feeling. And I, and I feel we have this look, we have this world card right underneath that. Like somebody feels like it's not over between the two of you. They just feel like it's not over. And I feel like what they're waiting for is you. They have the Three of Pentacles right under that, the Two of Cups, so they still feel a really strong connection with you. Even if you guys are in separation with this person, they still feel a very strong connection with you. And they definitely feel like this is something that has potential to be able to work through. The Three of Pentacles in the Rider Waite deck is the only card that has pentacles that is that are not gold. And it speaks of that potential, right? And this person still sees that here. I feel like they're seeing things in a new way with this hangman energy now we are going to clarify stuff and get way more into this in a moment but that's kind of what it feels like i feel like somebody's just hanging back waiting for you in this deck they call it the patient witch um this is the cozy witch tarot they call it the patient witch you know they're just kind of like laying there just waiting like waiting you got that more of that energy i feel like somebody has a lot of regrets would have could have should have and this five of cups just sadness regret disappointment and a lot of that waiting the temperance being the challenge you know, it's that patience. You know, they're struggling with that here. You know, the temperance can also, it's a very divine kind of an energy. And, and it speaks about, you know, divinity and things that are, you know, fate, destiny, things that are meant for. And I feel like this person feels that way about you. They feel like you guys are meant for one another. And they do feel that it's not over. They have this two of pentacles here in their next action. It's not a huge action card. I kind of just feel like it's them trying to keep it together. The two of pentacles can be a card of like managing things, just keeping it all together. Um, it can talk about going back and forth and making a decision. Well, when we clarify, we'll find out. Maybe they are getting ready to make a, make a decision in regards to uh, what action to take here with this king of wands being present. Your energy showing up as the empress. I feel like you guys are going through a glow up it feels like you guys are really focused on, you know, something that you're trying to create in your life. Maybe it's your own abundance. Maybe it's just becoming that version of you that you want to be. The signs that I'm seeing sticking out for you guys so far, we have fire energy. You have all the fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag. You have Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo, or Libra, and Taurus, and Cancer. Those are the ones that I'm seeing. But like I said, it is a general reading, so it could be any. You got this chariot here for the potential outcome. To me, I feel like it is just something moving forward. We're going to start to clarify and see what comes up for you. Tell me more about this Five of Cups energy. Why is this Five of Cups energy here? Some of you guys, Scorpio season was very significant or Sagittarius season, maybe like going into that was very significant for you guys in some way. You got this queen, like strength card and the Queen of Cups is what turned around to clarify this. So someone's really missing you here. 
And it's, it's not easy for them to, to take a hard look at themselves. And I feel like that's what they're doing. Someone's taking a hard look at themselves with that would have, could have, should have, the things that they should have done, the things that they wish they would have said, uh, the choices and mistakes that they made that they wish they wouldn't have. I also do feel like they're kind of holding back. I feel like they know that they have, like it has to come from you now. For some of you guys, I feel like this person maybe has tried to reach out in the past. Uh, it doesn't have to be that way for all of you, but for some of you guys, I feel like they're just waiting on you. She's clamping that lion's mouth shut. It's almost like this person's keeping themselves from, you know, chasing after you here. But they do have this Queen of Cups. They are in their feelings. They are missing you here. I don't think it's easy for them to stop themselves from chasing you with that strength energy being here. Now tell me about this hangman energy. I got the star card. So I feel like they're trying to heal too. I also feel like they're just wishing and hoping. That's what this feels like to me. I feel like this person does have hope. I feel like they do have faith. Like I said, they definitely feel like this is something that has that meant to be type of an energy to it, right? They feel like there's no way that this is over. They definitely have hope and faith that you'll be back. Tell me about this temperance. Why is that the challenge? You got the five of swords and the wheel of fortune. So some because sometimes the, pay, the temperance can be a slower moving energy and it represents that need to have patience and things being a process and things happening in their own time, right? The patience or the temperance can speak about divine timing. But, you know, sometimes I feel like just like anybody, they start to have their doubts their conviction starts to waver with this Five of Swords Wheel of Fortune, you know, when they start to miss seeing you and it starts to feel like it's been a long time, you know, it starts to feel like, is this really going to happen? And the Five of Swords can also talk about reassessment. You know, it's a card that says getting what you want by any means necessary. He did that. He won, but he's looking at what he, it cost him and he lost his friends. I feel like this person is looking at what their choices have cost them. They're going back over, reassessing the situation, looking back over it. And when they do that and they start to realize all of the things that they did or should have done, it starts to cause them to question about whether you are going to come back. So even though they have that hope and faith, and I feel like that's the overall energy, you know, I feel like at times their conviction wavers. Tell me about this two of pentacles. We have this queen of wands and the seven of cups. They're not sure what the best action to take is. They're not sure what's going on with you. The seven of cups can be a card of confusion. It can be a card of illusion, not seeing something clearly. They're not sure what exactly what you want at this time or what you're doing at this time. They could be seeing you glowing up as well with this queen of wands and empress energy. Tell me about this chariot. We got this three of swords and the sun. I feel like there's going to be a lot of healing and forgiveness here and acceptance. I don't see this person taking action towards you. You know, I feel for some of you guys, Aquarius, I feel like this cherry is just you continuing to move on and move towards your own happiness uh, is how that's coming through. For some of you, okay, this could come back together. Um, but I feel like that's only, I feel like it's going to be on your terms. I don't see this person taking action at this time. To me, this looks like they're waiting for you. And I feel like some of you guys may. You know, this chariot, it's facing this direction it's not facing away so some of you guys may decide to move back towards this person and if you do i feel like you'll find a lot of healing here i feel like there's a potential for healing for forgiveness for happiness with that sun energy um but some of you guys are, are focused on moving away from it and focus on your own happiness and only you guys get to decide what's best for you and which direction to go in i feel like this person in the meantime is just waiting on you here you know i feel like they're holding themselves back from chasing you but they do have hope. They do have faith. That is what I have for you, Aquarius. I do hope it helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.